In a state made for a camera roll. It's so super beautiful. It's amazing. Uray, Colorado stands out. In the summertime, you can't walk down the street without walking in front of somebody taking pictures and stuff. This place is too beautiful not to share. Whichever way you look at this town, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous and fully Instagrammable. Yeah, we, we just all kind of play in the mountains here. The beauty was only part of what brought Kenty Larson and her family back to her childhood home. Leaving and coming back, you really understand how unique this place is. Kenty, her husband and kids live in the house where she grew up with her mom and dad. That one looks really good. Three generations around the same table and Dexter. He is extremely goofy. He's extremely sweet. He's a little mischievous. A lot mischievous. Dexter is a quick learner. He loves attention. Just look at that face. The most famous dog ever. And in a town surrounded by beautiful mountains. Stay. He's got to do something to stand out. OK, OK, let's go downstairs. Dexter might actually be the most Instagrammable thing here. Come on. Yeah, Insta star. OK, let's go. It's pretty funny. They just like like a couple walking down the street almost. He's the absolute best in such a quirky dog. This is how Dexter walks, well, runs everywhere. It's a lot of running and I have to slow him down. Kenty and Dexter do have to slow down to answer the obvious Why question. Why does that dog look like it's a human? Because he only has uh, two legs that really work well. Why? Because he was in an accident. It can be tough to talk about. Right by the the blue sign. I get choked up. I can hardly say that. Back in 2016, about a year into his little life, Dexter was hit by a truck. We didn't think he'd make it. His front legs got caught underneath the wheel. Kenty and her family had already put down two dogs in two years. I couldn't put another dog down without giving him a chance. After surgeries and a whole lot of rehab, Dexter started to adapt. I know humans can do it, but to see an animal adapt to, you know, obstacles and things that, you know, they weren't born that way. And of course, it hit the internet. This video shot by someone from out of town. Morning walk. No one around. It turned Dexter into a pandemic star. No, he cracks me up. I just can't believe that he cracks up all of these other people as well. Now everyone wants a piece. Louis Anderson came to me. He's a big comedian. Do you know Louis Anderson? We just have talked back and forth, and he wanted to do a voice of Dexter and asked if that was OK. We got to get there. They're waiting for us. They're holding the bus for us. The sudden oh fame gave Dexter's mom something to do when the pandemic stole her job. Got me up in the morning, the film and the and the conversations online got me moving again. You can, you wanna sit, you wanna treat? With Dexter, there's plenty to talk about now. Just, oh gosh, that's a huge piece of meat. Oh, bring it down. Yeah, that's good, good that's good. There you go, bud. Say thank you. Great day, bud. This is Dexter, come on. Dexter. We saw a dog <laughs> just kind of walking with its owner and uh, I can remember one of my kids saying, that dog looks weird, what's wrong with it? because this is now our normal. A new normal. Let's go, let's go. Where have we heard that before? Let's go. Literally, Dexter saved us during the pandemic, so it's really interesting that we saved him, but really in the end, he saved us. For next, okay. I'm Steve Steger. Okay.